I look like ass. I feel like ass. We gotta work. We gotta work. So tired. Wildfires. Put them out. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Just kind of get this over with. Sorry if my energy is kind of low or weird or off. Um, I know I shouldn't apologize for like the way I'm being, but to give some context to my life, as you can tell if you watched the video before, this is not my normal kitchen. This is now my new kitchen because my boyfriend and I broke up. All good, clean breakup. It's such a weird thing to say, but um, yeah, this is my new kitchen and it seems kind of echoey, so I think I gotta figure that out. But um, we're gonna work out the bugs as we go. But yeah. Kind of going through some shit. I'm good though. So if you guys know me, you know that cooking literally is my therapy and I've been doing a lot of cooking going through this breakup, but I haven't been filming it. And I'm like, okay, I need to get back into it. Like I, I took work off for like a week and a half. I'm like, it's just it's gotta move on. If you've ever been through a breakup, you know that you kind of go through waves. Like one day you're totally good and you're like, I'm great, on to the next one. Not really, that's absolutely not my attitude at all. But like you have like a really good day and the next day you're like, fuck this, fuck everything, like I'm over it. I go through those waves, but your girl still gotta eat. So something that has been helping me and I've talked about on my channel before is my subscription to HelloFresh. You guys have never heard of HelloFresh. It's like a subscription box, a subscription. It's a subscription box that gets mailed to your doorstep every week. HelloFresh just takes away all the stress of feeling like I'm really hungry, I need to feed myself or my family or however, whoever you feed. And it just makes it so quick. Like their meals are usually done in about 30 minutes, but they also have a quick recipe option where it gets done in like 20 minutes. And you're learning how to cook. Each meal is like pre-portioned. You'll see in a sec when I pull mine out. So so you're just never wasting any food. I feel like that's like the biggest thing for me that I'm like still learning is whenever I'm cooking like my own recipes, like how do I portion things so I don't waste? I mean, I never waste, like it becomes leftovers, but even that, you know, sometimes you don't want leftovers or some types of dishes you cook aren't good leftovers. Sometimes my creativity isn't there, but you don't have to worry about it with HelloFresh because they have like 22 plus chef curated recipes sent to your doorstep every week. You can postpone or switch around your schedule when you receive boxes. So you never have to worry about wasting money or food. And above all, it's just so much cheaper than eating out. HelloFresh meals start at $5.66 per serving. That's literally cheaper than like a Chipotle burrito bowl. That's almost, that's like cheaper than like a Happy Meal at McDonald's. So go to HelloFresh.com, use code KristenMacasey10, and I believe they're still running their New Year's sale. You get 10 free meals plus free shipping. You're welcome. But I'll link everything down below, go check it out. Okay, I wanna see what I'm cooking. Okay, so I could do a couscous bowl, a burrito bowl, speaking of Chipotle. Ooh, I'm doing this. A roasted veggie farro bowl. This looks so good. I don't like this shirt. I feel ugly. I feel like this is even weirder that I put on a denim jacket in my own house, but I feel like it like needed something. Like it needed to like, you know what's really weird? Like living alone, you have so much more room in your fridge. I have to say another really good thing is the last house I lived, the oven took literally like an hour and a half to preheat to like 350. So whenever I would do cooking videos, I'm like, all right, I really need to know what I'm cooking before. I need to plan for it. Like I need to make sure I'm at home like an hour in advance before filming so that I can preheat the oven. But the other night I preheated because I was making, I think I was making like scones or something. And I was like, oh great, I'll preheat and then I'll get in the shower and like get ready for bed and like clean the house a little bit. And I preheated and like walked away to like take off my clothes to get in the shower and it was like beep beep beep. I was like, fuck yeah. So that's cool. Okay, see little prepackaged thingies. Arugula. Also everything's recyclable and that's fucking dope. Farro. Looks like oatmeal. Onion, sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato, parmesan, chili powder, craisins. These remind me of my mom for some reason. A lemon and vegetable stock. Okay, step one, cook the farro. Farro, is it a farro? Like a bird? Ooh, okay, I need to preheat to 425. I'm not even worried about it. It'll be done in no time. Also, I'm doing like a full apartment tour. It's fully decorated already. I feel like I was so adamant and like getting it done because I wanted a place that felt like home. So I got my place decorated in like a week. And actually right before I started filming this, I'm looking at it right now. I can't show you because I'm gonna show you in the video. I ordered something that I have seriously had my eyes on since it came out. A little pricey, but I felt like I deserved it. And I ordered it and they just brought it in because it's 300 pounds and I couldn't bring it in myself. I feel like everybody really thinks it's like a statue or something, but it's really beautiful and I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, back to business. 
because I have to boil this for 25 to 30 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 28 minutes. You know what I think I'm gonna do for the next video is I'm gonna put you guys here. I feel like you don't need to see that, especially for something like a bowl. It's just like assembly. I'm gonna move you now. Oh my God, that's so much better. Oh, I'm losing light. I'm gonna wash these. It's telling me not to cut the onions very much. Toss them in a large bowl, drizzle of olive oil, chili powder, salt, and pepper. Vegetables are so pretty. Carefully spread out on a preheated baking sheet, roast until browned. Alexa, set another timer for 23 minutes. Okay, marinate cranberries. This brings me back to like Thanksgiving, obviously, because it's cranberries, but I was, what was I watching? Oh, the new to all the boys I love, the PS I love you. No spoilers, but there is a part where they refer to Thanksgiving, and I was watching it, and I was like, I like want to cook a Thanksgiving meal. It sounds so good. Zest one lemon. In a small bowl, combine juice from two of the wedges, teaspoon of sugar, and stir. My neighbor has a lemon tree, like a giant lemon tree, and an orange tree. I want to go steal some so bad. I don't even feel like it's stealing, like, there's no way they're gonna eat all those lemons. I think it should be a rule, like if you have a lemon tree, you have to share with like your surrounding two neighbors. Okay, this is definitely done, but there's a lot more broth left. But it did say the tip is to just pour it out. So I'm just gonna pour it out. It says to stir in two tablespoons of bora. I accidentally got the wrong butter. It's, I mean, it's the same thing. I just, I like it when it's like a cube. Oh, and then I add the roasted veggies and the dressing. I'm kind of, I'm kind of going out of order. Uh, veggies are pretty much done. I'm gonna make the dressing. Okay, it says to set the cranberries to the side. There's literally like a tablespoon of liquid in here, but it's so like concentrated. That's what I love. Like you literally don't waste anything. They're having you use your leftover marinade for the dressing. A tablespoon of olive oil, salt, pepper. Cool. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, I love vegetables. Hi. Hi. Yay! We're gonna have somebody taste the food. What if I made my own box with HelloFresh? Like my own, you know, handful of recipes that were in a box one month or one season or whatever. Would you guys buy it? I wanna know. And if so, let's tell HelloFresh. Let's work something out. I feel like it'd be so cool if I had like my own box and my own recipes. I'd love to like go to their headquarters and like develop them with their chefs too. Like I'd love to be like heavily involved with it. It just makes me so happy. Like I feel like <laughs> whenever I start a video in a bad mood and I cook, by the end of it, I'm like happy. I could cry right now. Why can't I cry? <laughs> okay, anyway, put some of the dressing in there. Pepper. Ooh, it feels weird doing pepper first. Salt. Now I add the arugula to the bowl with the dressing. Let me show you. Excuse me. Cute. See, like if I made a little box, like I would love to like lay out the design of like all the photos that go with this, like like have my hand in it. So it's like a little bit of me. That's so cool. Hello Fresh, please. I want to do something with you. Maybe, maybe I sound desperate. I'm not desperate. Desperate isn't the right word. I'm I'm like excited about it. It's something I want so bad. In 2020 is the year of not bullshitting and just saying what you want. So hello fresh, I wanna make a box with you. All right, let's try this. I've said this before, and I think it was the like zucchini and ricotta flatbread that I did. I said that was my favorite dish I've ever had with them. This tops it. Granted, it's different, like a flatbread versus a bowl is like two different palettes, but this is like, these flavors are unreal. It's like such a universal dish, meaning there's fall flavors, but then there's summer flavors. It's incredibly healthy, protein packed, it's beautiful, it's quick. I love a good bowl because I love the thought of like taking what's left over in your fridge and just throwing it all together. I think that's practical. Okay, Leanna's here. It's a perfect like sweet and That's savory. what I said. I said it's a well-rounded dish. I like it in this bowl. Yeah, like I feel like it's better in a dark bowl. Mm -hmm. Because the contrast. Yeah, I love this. It's this so is good. so good. Yay. All right, well, we're gonna finish the rest of this. Ooh, ooh. I just wanna say, with my mouthful, thank you for all of your support. These past couple days, you guys have been like literally the most supportive people on the planet. So I'm really grateful for that. And I'm really grateful for my friends. And my mouth is still full. <laughs> I feel like this is the dish that like you chew and you're still chewing mm -hmm. five minutes later. The little rice the particles are like small. And All right guys, I love you so much and I'm back baby. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye.